Welcome to the preliminary final. I'm Anthony Hudson. Collaborating with me in the commentary booth is Gary Lyon. Welcome, Gaz. Hi, Hutto. I'm ready for a big game here tonight. Well, they call the preliminary final the fans' final, and it's evident here with a great sea of colour representing both teams. These teams will have one eye on the grand final, but they have to focus on this game tonight. You'd hate to get so far into the season to just fall short. Well, the big game here tonight will be between Melbourne and Geelong. They run on in full confidence. They're looking sharp, and the crowd are appreciating it. I'm really looking forward to seeing how they play today. Yes, I know. It's a big day for the Cats forwards. If they can get on top of the Melbourne defence, they'll go a long way to winning the game. are ready for the players. We love the team of the red and the blue. Every heart is true for the red and the blue. And we sing the song to you. Through all the acquaintance people, but keep your eye on. Captains make their way to the middle for the toss. The Cats wins the toss. The fans of both sides are waiting this one. And here we go. It's Melbourne taking on Geelong. He's got the football now. Bit too casual with the tackle. Melchior doesn't take the mark. Just gets it onto the boot. Cleanly picked up. Hurry kick. Doing well to intercept that kick. Menegolic sends one up towards the wing. Out of bounds on the wing. What can you tell us at this stage, Gary? There's some great skills on display right now. It's a great match. Receives the handball and takes off. He just sets the ball well. Hibbert elects to kick. Hacking it out of there. Selwood just gets a boot to it. Going for goal number one. He's excited about that one. And we have the first goal of the match. About to resume hostilities. Gorn won the hit out. Picks up the loose ball. Ball up in the center square. Gorn thumped it clear. Scoops up the ball. Duncan hacking it out of there. Fogarty has it. He's a long way from home, but he might have the wheels. Going for goal number one. That's a really poor finish there. Had to find a way to do that. Seven points the difference. Gorn searching for a teammate. Tomlinson gets in a good position. Geelong haven't been in control. They've given up way too many uncontested marks and are letting the opposition set the pace. He can take off after that handball. Jones, hurried kick. Good mark and looks to send it back. 
Blutsarves puts it on the boot. Stuck the mitts out there and held on to it. Looks up with the kick. Good mark there. A spearing kick. Stewart used the body to take that mark. Puts boot to ball. Takes a strong mark. Keeps the kick low. McDonald wins the marking contest. Penetrating handball. They can link up now. Handball finds Jenner quickly onto the boot. Marking in space for Brown. 45 metres out. Going for goal number one. That one hits the woodwork. Melbourne now only trailed by six. Henderson looking to bring it back into play. Moves it by foot. Marked by Slenso. Moves the ball by foot. A chance to gather the ball. Brown gets it out of congestion. He takes the mark. 20 metres from home. And a chance to level the scores now. Hannon couldn't be happier with that goal. The scores are level. What a nail-biter. We resume hostilities. Punched away. He has the ball. At full stride, receives the handball. Intercepted by Hannon. Summed it up, and he delivers perfectly. His teammates rush over. Melbourne have kicked the last two goals. Melbourne by a goal. Dug out the loose ball. Jenkins finds possession. Has it now. Just put it on the boot. Dug it out. Did well to get a hand in. They can create from this. Has a runner alongside him. Is in his possession. Goes for the goals. Kept his hand and kicked the goal. Of course, Hunter. He acknowledges the crowd. That's three in a row for the Demons. Now they lead by 12. About to resume play. Clears the contest. Doing well was Oliver. Easily takes the mark. Henderson kicks it. Takes a nice mark. Brace your ops to play on. Looks like the ball will be coming back. Sinks the slipper into it. Duncan with an easy mark. It's a long kick. It's marked by Delwood. Puts it on the boot. Guthrie takes the mark and contested. Looking to rebound with this kick. Melbourne can not been able to set up any set shots at goal, but I'm not sure that it's the forward's fault. The ball has been coming in way too slow. You can't expect your forward to kick a winning title that one. Just gave it away. Rowan hacks it out of there. Ablett wins the foot race. Selwood is streaming past and gets the footy. Taken by Jones. The ball finds Petrarca. Wants to move it quickly. With a driving kick. Finds a target. Hannon fires it up to the square. He's enjoying that goal. Melbourne, 25, late Geelong, 7. Back in the middle now. Gorn with the punch. McDonald quickly out of the boot. Mops up the loose ball. Collected by Ablett. Releases the handball with the ball now. Put his body on the line. Clears the congestion. McDonald grabs that one. Melbourne are allowing too many marks inside the opposition forward 50. If they continue to get beaten in this area, they'll find it difficult to keep the lead. Ends up turning this ball over. Stanley goes with the kick. Hawkins gets on the end of this. He drives it. Takes that one strongly. Kick by Jenkins. Landed in his back on this occasion. Move it on. Going for goal number one. Just hits the post and a minor score. Geelong behind by 17. Deciding where to go with the kick in. Runs it over the boundary line. 
McDonald coming onto the ground. Can you tell us anything at the moment, Gaz? I'm loving what this game is giving us right now. Brayshaw collects it. Neil Bullock moves it by hand. Takes a simple grab. McDonald heads long with that kick. Picked up under pressure. Punches are clear. McDonald with a shot. Drop pump straight through the middle. They increase their lead. Smiles all round. The margin is 23. It hasn't always been clean, but they've got the goal. He did really well there and gets the reward. Back in the middle to resume play. Gorn thumps it forward. Jones now. Ball up in the centre square. Thumps it clear. Knew what was coming. The possession caused a turnover. Salem slams it onto the boot. Couldn't quite with the mark. Uses a short handle. Taylor just put it on the boot. Dalhouse takes a strong mark. Kicks to the square. And the mark will be paid. Well, when you look at the shots at goal, there just hasn't been enough scoring opportunities being created. Get the ball inside 50 and give your forwards a chance to take a mark. Melbourne forwards are dangerous anywhere inside 50. They just need to be given a shot. Great tackle. Pretty happy with that one. Back in the middle as the rucks go at it. Thump clear. He wins possession with quick hands. Turned it over. Handballs to a teammate on the run. Jones gets a quick kick away. The mark has been taken. A chance to put a second goal on the board. Melchuk celebrating hard. Melbourne with a handy break. They lead Geelong. 37 to 14. We're back in the middle now. Stanley hurls it away. Takes possession. Now we've got a ball up. What are your thoughts at the moment, Gaz? I'd love for the coach to send a message out there and tell these players to take the game on. The loose ball picked up. It's a turnover. Gets a quick kick away. A strong mark in the pack from Spargo. 40 metres out. Should be relatively straightforward from here. He drives it towards goal. What a kick. And he puts it through. Spargo getting the crowd involved. That's two in a row for Melbourne. The lead is now 29. This is how they can score, Big Hutto. If they can do that on a consistent basis, it's massive. They're looking more dangerous inside 50 now. Great reward for effort. Back with another centre bounce. Stanley with a big fist on it. He's got the footy in his hands. Couldn't complete the mark. Going for goal number one. Sometimes you just sit back and enjoy the show. Look at them celebrate that effort. Geelong close the gap to 23. The umpire set to bounce to restart the game. Rowan with the ball. Lever flicks it over. Viney finds his man on the move. He takes aim. That looked great. What a goal. Brayshaw puts his first goal on the ball. And that puts them further in front. Celebrating hard. That goal will be a real confidence boost. You can see he's up and about now. That's a really good team goal. The game is back underway. Swanson, he gets his hands on the footy. Pushes through with power. Viney brushed off easily. Abler clears the congestion. Finds this and marks well. Chose to kick it. 
Neil Bourne down some space and marked. A chance to reload the attack now. The kick from Collar Jasny. An easy grab for Duncan. Slams it onto the boot. A good mark under the circumstances. Stewart drives the kick. He gives chase to the footy. Hibbert running off for a break. What do you make of the game so far, Gary? There's not enough effort out there at the minute. Snaffled up by Dalwood. Takes the mark. Fogarty moves it now. Stands tall and marks. Melbourne just aren't running for each other or creating space to work into. And as a result, they haven't been able to earn many set shots inside 50. Nice mark under pressure. Dalhouse wants to play on. Collects the loose ball. Picked up now. The ball spells to Connor Jasny. The loose ball scooped up. Decides to keep it alive. Couldn't complete the play. Ball out of bounds. Thrown in now. Jenkins clears the contest. Rushes with the kick. Finding the loose ball reliever. Walks that one. Geelong trying to get it back to a manageable score. Plays onto himself. Elects to kick. Open opportunity for McDonald. Uses it now. It's a foot race to get this one. Connor Jasny releases by hand. And the ball bounces across the boundary line. The ball is coming back into play. Thrashes it. Petrarca on the ball. Just gets a boot to it. Gathers it now. Hannon throws the ball away. A spearing kick from Jenkins. Found space for an easy bar. Two, he just threw it. Hannon can put through a fourth with this kick. Just leaves them in his way. Great goal. This lead getting bigger now. Get some reward for his efforts. Melbourne could kick back-to-back -back goals. Now they lead by 34. Duncan rushes with the kick. Converting these opportunities could make a big difference to today's result. And the ball trickles over the boundary. Anything standing out at the moment for you, Gaz? I'd really love it if these teams took the contest to the next level. Jenkins doesn't get low enough and gives away the fruit. The first quarter is over, and it's Geelong. We're on the back foot early. The Demons deserve this lead early. They'd want to keep it up if they're going to win this. Plenty of goals in the first quarter in what looks to be an exciting contest. Let's check out the stats. Geelong have been careful with their ball movement, taking plenty of uncontested marks and looking to find time. The second term ready to get underway. Umpire ready to resume play. Big thump from Gorn. Kicks hurriedly. McDonald couldn't keep his hands on it. He's having a big game right now. He has been outstanding here, Hutto. Hammers it. Brown was taken high in the tackle. Going for goal number one. He blasts it through for another. Congratulated by his teammates. 40 points the difference. Hammers it. He gains possession. Dangerfield uses it by foot. Over the top of the pack. Hibbert sends one up towards the wing. Winning the ball in the air was Petrarca. Looks to move it by foot. Ends up marking uncontested. Harms sends one up towards the wing. Goes by foot. Lever marks in the best space. Stepped off his line. Great mark in the pack. 
Moved on by Stanley. Ball collected. Rowan kicks hurriedly. Spent that one before he earned it. Used the hands and gives away the free. Hibbert elects to kick. The mark is taken by Jenner. Melbourne have the lead, but they're allowing plenty of opposition marks inside 50. They need to fix up that aspect of their game if they're to stay on top. Jones drives the kick. A solid mark from Stewart. Uses it by foot. Hibbert better mop up. A strong pack mark. Decides to kick. Melchon hangs on to that one. 45 metres out. Almost directly in front here. Already kicked a couple of goals. This for number three. Look at him. He really enjoyed that one. The Demons have kicked the last four goals. The lead is now 46. Oliver gets on the end of that handball. He can take off after that handball. Henderson coming on. The umpire calls for a stoppage. Well, another goal here, and this game could be well and truly over. Hunt with a penetrating handball. Up for grabs for Salem. It's a behind. Melbourne, but 47. Looking for options now. Menegola takes a strong mark. Got boot to ball. Stanley determined to reach the ball. Quickly onto the boot. Hunt runs after the ball. Hits him hard. Gets a quick kick away. Gains some territory. Charges with intent. Brayshaw gathers it now. Wants to keep it moving. Harms just gets it onto the boot. It's a poor kick, and it hits the behind post. Umpire calls for a boundary throw. Ball back into play. Stewart pushes his opponent off with one hand. Hunt getting in on the act. He slots this one. A big goal there. He celebrates hard after that. Melbourne lead by 53. Swatson. This is Salem. They create the turnover. With the ball now. Gorn blinks up with a chance to run. Gorn won himself a free. Goes with the kick. They chase after the loose ball. Clumsy tackle results in a free kick. Neil Bullock uses it by foot. Wins the race to the ball. Rowan gets on the end of this. Slams it on the boot. A bit too hard with a push, and it's a free kick. May onto the ball. Finds the loose ball. Gets it away. With the ball is Parsons. Nails the goal. Geelong reduced the margin. Thumps it clear. Gorn clean from the half volley. Gorn just threw it. Elects to kick. A race for the loose ball. Picked up by Selwood. Tui has the ball. Uses the hands instead of the body. And it's a free kick. He gives chase to the footy. Neil Bullen rushes with the kick. Hannon gains some territory. He just can't get out of the action. Melchuk shoots, and the net kick goes offline. Melbourne by eight goals. Blitz arms assessing the options. Moves it by foot. Good mark by Hawkins. Moves the ball by foot. Duncan marks. Puts boot to ball. Taylor does well to mark. Well, when you look at the shots at goal, there just hasn't been enough scoring opportunities being created. Get the ball inside 50 and give your forwards a chance to take a mark. Melbourne forwards are dangerous anywhere inside 50. They just need to be given a shot. Kick by Melson. Off the ground. He's kicked the goal. That's four goals. They get around him after that effort. Melbourne by nine goals. We're back in motion.
Punches are clear. Duncan just gets it out of the boot. Hubert takes the mark. Hubert has resources out wide. Steady hands there as he holds that one. Melbourne, we're allowing too many marks inside the opposition 450. They continue to get beaten in this area. They'll find it difficult to keep the lead. Marks now and can send it back. Taylor, not wasting time. Elects to play on. The ball mopped up. It's just a bit lacklustre out there for my liking. Thrashes it. Putting on the bump was Hamlet. He delivers with a drop pass. Big moment in this game after that goal. Celebrating hard. Geelong close the gap to 48. Stanley gets onto the ball. Ball up in the centre square. Punched away. Gets the loose ball. Abler cuts it off. Oh, someone's on the ground. Can you tell us more, Gary? Well, the doctor will have to take a look at that one. It does look serious. Suckers are through for a goal. They're not done with yet. Gets some reward for his efforts. Geelong could kick back-to-back -back goals. Looking to find a way back in this. Clears the contest. Jones just put it on the boot. O'Connor couldn't snaffle it. Dug out the loose ball. They can create from this. McDonald sends it clear of the contest. 50 metres from home. A 45 degree angle for this shot at goal. Going for goal number one. Oh, what about that? That was really special. Petrarca enjoying that goal. Melbourne by eight goals. Centre bounce. Thump clear. Neil Bullock keeps coming. It's been a great game from Duncan. He's showing everyone how it's done. Going for goal number one. He's put that one through. And now they're back with a chance. The ball ends up going to ground. Rowan loves that goal. Back in the middle now. Gorn with the hit is in his possession. Puts on a bump. Fantastic chase and tackle. Didn't get away from that tackle. Great attack on the ball carrier. Goes off the ground. Picks up the loose ball. Does well to cut off the kick. Sweeping handball from McDonald. Finds his man. Well collected. Blitzards. Red at best. Off hands. Harms complying the pressure. Beautiful tackle, Hutto. Kicks hurriedly. The umpire will ball it up. I hate to say it, Hutto, but this game is over. Duncan wins it back at full stride, receives the handball. Fogarty gets the loose ball. We'll get a ball up on the wing. Punched away. Just put his hands in the back of the opponent, and it's a free. Goes by foot. Whoa! Mark. Melbourne have the lead, but they're allowing plenty of opposition marks inside 50. They need to fix up that aspect of the game if they're to stay on top. Tui slips high and gives away the free kick. The loose ball picked up. Fights the good fight. Takes it well. Lever kicks it. Picking it up was Stewart. Rushes with the kick. May had it, lost it. We'll have another ball up. Clears the contest. The bounce made it tough. Duncan might have overworked himself there. Parfit couldn't hang on to the ball. Jones picks up the loose ball. Two weeks slick with the hands. Swats it. Moved on by Tomlinson. The ball spills from the tackle. He flicks it over. Slips the handball to Menegola. He likes his chances from here. Parsons love kicking that one. Geelong now only trailed by 36. Thrashes it. Dangerfield collects the loose ball. Duncan handballs. Ball up calls. 
gone. Got a fist to it. Now we will get a ball up. Gorn just swats it away. Sockers it forward. Dahlhaus turns his opponent inside out. Just releases the ball. Goes off the ground. Manufactures the handball. Fogarty going for number one. The drop punt sails between the big sticks. They will continue to keep pushing to get back in this game now. Congratulated by his teammates. Umpire ready to resume play. Thump clear. The ball mopped up, handballs to no one in particular. Just gets it onto the boot. Nice hands. Melbourne have the lead, but they're allowing plenty of opposition marks inside 50. They need to fix up that aspect of their game if they're to stay on top. Stuck the bits out there and held onto it. Oliver will have to put everything into this one. Move it on. He slams it towards goal. No issues with that drop punt. This kick stretches the lead. He's enjoying that goal. Melbourne with the edge right now over Geelong. Thumps it clear. He gets his hands on the footy. He gets above the crowd. Wants to go. Salem goes with the kick. Doing well to intercept that kick. Blitzarves tucks it into the pocket. Selwood marks it. Just put it on the boot. The contest, no match for him. You're right, Hutto. Melbourne just aren't... Guthrie sends one up towards the wing. The first half comes to a close, and Geelong face a 36-point deficit. Melbourne have had a solid first half and will look to show more of the same in the second. Time to see if there's anything interesting in the stats. The Cats needs to do a better job and gain more clearance. The third quarter has begun. We're back in motion. Thump by Gorn. He's got the footy in his hands. Dishes it off to a player on the run. Dishes it off. What a lovely goal from there. He puts through his first goal. Desperate times, and they deliver with a goal. Look at him. He really enjoyed that one. Gorn thrashes it. Made the tricky bounce look easy. He's the number one ranked player on the ground. He's doing everything right. He's getting a lot of the ball, Gas. He just keeps finding the footy. Hawkins throws the ball away. The kick from Lever easily takes the mark. Just got the hands in the back there. Brayshaw moves it now. They chase after the loose ball. Gives the old don't argue. Puts it on the boot. Selwood dug out the loose ball. Got the hands free. Has it now. Yet another possession. Dug out by Bogarty. And the umpire will ball it up. What can you tell us, Gaz? This game needs a spark at the moment. Goes by hand. Oliver gets on the end of that handball. Decides to kick. He intercepts the ball well. Uses it by foot. Huntsville's possession. Clear free. Just put both hands in the back. It's a foot race to get this one. Opportunity for Dalhouse. Tomlinson having some trouble down there. That doesn't look great. Looks unlikely he will see any further action. I agree with you there, Hutto. Fought hard to get a handball away. Putting his skills on display. Wins the race to the ball. Ball gets cut off. He's worked hard and probably needs a chance to rest. Rowan goes to the man on the run. Does well to get it out. Bangs it on the boot now. A strong pack mark. Melcher plays it on. Oliver hacking it out of there. Hunt takes it strongly. 35 metres out. Looking to kick goal number two. Wow! How good was that? This kick has extended their lead. Hunt celebrates with the fans. Melbourne, 99. Lead Geelong, 63. Melbourne are making the most of their ruck dominance. It's one area of their game that seems on top here. Gorn releases the ball. Ends up turning this ball over. Sinks the slipper into it. Tui marks uncontested. Menegola takes the mark. 
Drives the kick hard. He takes the mark. Melbourne haven't been able to set up many set shots at goal, but I'm not sure that it's the forward's fault. The ball has been coming in way too slow. You can't expect your forward to kick a winning total that way. They really need a goal on the board now. That goal is a tracker. They're right back in this one now. They get around him after that effort. Geelong reduced the margin. Some great ball movement there. You just knew they were going to score. That came off the back of some good work further up the ground. Melbourne could have been giving the opposition a chance to move the ball around freely, which is working because they're getting on top once they force a contest. The ball ends up with passes. 45 metres out. This game is slowly slipping away. They must convert here. Look at them celebrate that effort. Geelong have kicked the last two goals. Geelong behind by 24. Punches it clear. Hacking it out of there. Hain took his eyes off the ball. Gives it, don't argue. Chose to kick it. Stands tall and marks. Intervening brilliantly was Salem. Hurried kick. Through for a point. The margin is 25. Melbourne could cost in themselves with turnover today. They need to find a way to control the play better and stop turning it over. Blitzarves hacks it forward. Nice work from Dangerfield. Got boot to ball. Salem with the mark. Goes with the kick. Jettick failing to get near it, guys. Yeah, he's barely touched the ball, Hunter. Harm drops the mark. He heads for home. Drop punt finds its way home from Melsham. Five goals now with no signs of slowing down. This one gives them a bigger lead. A great bit of play that resulted in that goal. It's great to watch Hutto. Plenty of excitement. Back in the middle to resume play. Winning it was Jenkins. Lobs the handball. He gains possession. Ends up with Finey. He's got the football now. The drop punt goes straight between the big sticks. That's his first. The lead has been increased by Palms. He knew that was home as soon as it left the boot. It hasn't always been clean, but they've got the goal. Melbourne could getting more of the ball on the outside, and it's their outside run that is generating plenty of scoring opportunities. Marks now and can send it back. Decides to go to the middle. A big contested grab. Slams it on the boot. Parfit did well to win that ball. He goes it alone. Makes the most of that kick. It's a goal. He loved that one. Geelong close the gap to 31. Back in the middle as the rucks go at it. Gorn thumps it clear. Slams it onto the boot. Parfit got hands to it. I haven't seen him for a while, Gaz. He's barely touched the ball, though. Menegola to take the free. Chips it towards half forward. Rowan takes the pressure of the goal kick upon himself. Oliver kicks hurriedly. Gathered by Taylor. Quickly onto the boot. Stanley has a great set of hands. The distance might be just beyond him. If they kick this, they give themselves a chance. A 
time to celebrate. And don't they get around Danley. They need to continue to peg this margin back. That's a really good team goal. Some great ball movement there. You just knew they were going to score. Melbourne are doing a great job of applying pressure and creating turnovers. It's allowing them plenty of opportunities. Clean pick up by Grayshaw. The mark is taken by Spargo. Distance, no problems from here. Move it on. Going for goal number two. Pretty happy with that one. Melbourne starting to exert some dominance now. They lead 118 to 87. Gorn gets onto the ball, just gets it onto the boot. Salem, the better man there. 50 metres from home. He takes the shot. Spargo didn't mark it. A chance to suffer it and kicks the goal. Put through his third goal. This kick puts them further into the lead. He celebrates hard after that. He knew that was home as soon as it left the boot. This is how they can score Big Hutto. If they can do that on a consistent basis, it's massive. Geelong are intercepting the ball well, but they're not capitalising on the scoreboard. They need to find the ball more at ground level to capitalise on their dominance in the air. Melchuk with a low spearing kick. Brayshaw leading the race to the loose ball. Finding the ball was growing. Tough ball to handle. Schlenso on the end of the turnover. Just put it on the boot. Finds a target. Melbourne are allowing too many marks inside the opposition forward 50. If they continue to get beaten in this area, they'll find it difficult to keep the lead. He wins the ball in the air. Gets the handball away. Lever gets the ball. Hawkins with the intercept. What can you tell us at this stage, Gary? I'm waiting for something to change the way this game is going right now. Melbourne could take advantage of their Ruckman's ability. It gives them first use at the stoppages and forcing the opposition to defend. Lever just dismisses Parsons, just through the ball. Duncan launches towards goal. Into the post of goals. Geelong. Reduce the margin. Melbourne have actually turned it over more than the opposition, but they haven't allowed that to translate into scores. It's why they're still in front. Hacking it out of there. May goes by hand. Colin Jasny gets a quick kick away. Manages to get it onto the boot. Finding the loose ball was Litzarves. Hawkins, hurried kick. Spargo got under it. Looks up with the kick. Marked by McDonald. With a driving kick. A mark by Viney. Needs a big kick and he's going to put this through. Going for goal number one. Unbelievable effort. And it ends with a goal. Connor Jasny missed an opportunity to mark. A time to celebrate. And don't they get around Viney. Hammers it. He wins possession. Intercepted. Melcher blinks up with a chance to run. Continues to find the footy. This will certainly test him from this distance. Looks to move it by foot. Neil Bullen wins the ball in the air. Move it on. He goes for broke. It somehow fits over the line. Pushes the lead further out. He's excited about that one. He did really well there and gets the reward. That goal will be a real confidence boost. You can see he's up and about now.
Melbourne are winning plenty of the ball at the moment and it's allowing them to create plenty of scoring opportunities. Practicing some fancy moves. Dahlhaus ate a meal of that one. He decides to go for home. The kick ends up hitting the post. Geelong, still a fair way back here. Gorn weighing up the options now. Menegola presents and takes the mark. Plays on. He needs to convert if they ever have any chance from here. Massive kick here. They need to convert this opportunity. His teammates rush over. Margin in a really tricky situation. About to resume play. Thrashes it. He has the ball. Salem got under it. Melbourne are allowing too many marks inside the opposition forward 50. If they continue to get beaten in this area, they'll find it difficult to keep the lead. He drives it. The ball spells to O'Connor. Clears the ball from the contest. Parfit uses the body well. Sweeping handball. Dangerfield is streaming past and gets the footy. A great mark taken there. 15 metres out. Okay. Parsons looking for another goal here. Smiles all round. Geelong now only trail by 35. A great bit of play that resulted in that goal. That came off the back of some good work further up the ground. Melbourne are allowing the opposition uncontested marks, but they sit up behind the ball so well it forces the opposition to play that style. Connor Jasny will be upset with that. Melcham struggling to run at the moment. Good mark and looks to send it back. Guthrie puts it on the boot. Blitzarch wins the ball in the air. Uses it now. Rushes with the kick. Schlensog. And there's the siren to end the third quarter. The scores are Melbourne 136 to Geelong 101. Melbourne walk into three-quarter time with the lead and the confidence they can win this game. A high-scoring third term. Sees what do you make of it all, Gaz? Melbourne keep turning the ball over from their forward thrusts. If they can hit more teammates, they can increase the lead. One quarter of footy to go. They have to go quickly to have any chance from here. Hammers it. Takes possession. Getting in the way was Rachel. Coughed up by arms. I haven't seen him for a while, Gaz. That's right, Hutto. He just can't seem to get into the game. Brings it out of the pack. Looks like the ball will be coming back. Melbourne haven't been able to set up many set shots at goal, but I'm not sure that it's the forward's fault. The ball has been coming in way too slow. You can't expect the forward to kick a winning title that one. He acknowledges the crowd. 41 points the difference. We're back in the middle now. Thump by Gorn. Jones comes away with the ball. Tries to release the pressure. He gets his hands on the footy. Here's Dangerfield. The kick from Menegola. Finds the loose ball. Just dismisses his opponent. Kicks hurriedly. Fancy footwork. And it's a goal to half. He continues his presence up forward. And kicks his ball right when they needed it most. Congratulated by his teammates. We resume hostilities. It's been a clearance game, and right now, Melbourne are on top in that area. Has it now. Dangerfield quickly onto the boot. Dahlhaus spills it. Goes by hand to Lever. We'll get a stoppage. Can you tell us anything at the moment, Gaz? This game needs a spark at the moment. Great tackling there, Hutto. Oliver slams it onto the boot. Hurried kick. Duncan finding plenty of it. Ball up in the centre square. Thumps it clear. 
collected by Dangerfield. Pretty lucky to get that free. Chips it towards half forward. I haven't seen him for a while, Gaz. Maybe the coach needs to get on the phone to him and give him some instructions. Simply outplayed his opponents. Well, when you look at the shots at goal, there just hasn't been enough scoring opportunities being created. Get the ball inside 50 and give your forwards a chance to take a mark. Melbourne forwards are dangerous anywhere inside 50. They just need to be given a shot. Does well to cut off the kick, and the mark will be paid. Got foot to ball, a chance to gather the ball. Well picked up, packs it out of there. Brown takes it well. Looks up with the kick. A race for the loose ball. The handball now from Stanley. Can he put it through? It's a fly. Melbourne by six goals. Henderson deciding where to go with the kick. Gets it over the line for a behind. Blitzarves with the responsibility of kicking it in. Doing well with the mark. Goes with the kick. Strong mark in the contest. A piercing kick from Slensong. Martin in space with all Jasmine. Melbourne just aren't running for each other or creating space to work into. And as a result, they haven't been able to earn many set shots inside field. Moved on by Glitzarves. The ball finds Jenkins. Slams it on the boot. A good job keeping it in play there. Eventually, the ball goes over the line. What can you tell us, Gas? I'd love for the coach to send a message out there and tell these players to take the game on. Racking up possessions now. We'll get a ball up. Jenkins got a fist to it. Decides to kick. He looks like he needs a spell. Awkwardly got the handball out. Handballs. McDonald links up with a chance to run. Brown receives the ball. Has to do better than that in the mark contest. Looks to move it by foot. Rowan grabs that one. Fans crossing their fingers, hoping he can put this one through the big sticks. Spent it before he earned it. Hawkins gets the loose ball. Stanley collects it. He's got the footy in his hands. Slams it over the boot. Dalhouse wins the foot race. They are happy with that effort. And now they're back with a chance. Look at him. He really enjoyed that one. It's still an uphill battle. Stanley thumps it forward. Controlled well off the bounce. And we'll get a ball up. Winning it was Stanley. He's got the football now. Just gets a hand in. Blitzarves winning plenty of possessions. Blitzarves will be the recipient of the free. Jenkins takes the mark uncontested. Puts it on the boot. Great mark. Decides to go to the middle. A chance to reload the attack man. Petrarca elects to kick. Good body work to win the mark. Rowan has it. Elects to kick. Off hands from Dangerfield. Moves it by foot. Does well to keep it in play. And the ball ends up over the line. Lever heads onto the ground. What are your thoughts at the moment, Gaz? There's not enough effort out there at the minute. Gone with a big fist on it. Outstanding pressure. The umpire calls for the ball now. Gone won the hit out. Decides to soccer it. The loose ball scooped up. Gets a quick kick away. Good mark and looks to send it back. May kicks it long. Marks now and can send it back. Blasted inside the 50. Over the top of the pack. 30 metres out. O'Connor going for number two. He bangs it through. They get around him after that effort. Starting to gain a bit of momentum here. The umpire set to bounce to restart the game. Ball stripped in the tackle. He lays off the pass. The ball in the hands of Harms. 
receives the handball and takes off. Harms earns a free kick. They can take the sting right out of the game here. He gives it a ride. Hannon lining up for a fifth goal today. Celebrating hard. Melbourne really starting to dominate. Gorn thumped it clear. Viney slams it onto the boot. Petrarca drops the mark. Hunt manufactures a handball. The kick connects with the post. Melbourne lead is now 32. Henderson players move as they look to provide an option. Movement by hand. Manages to get a hand away. Picked off the deck. Needs a bit of a rest. Blitzarves kicks it. Schlensov with the mark. With a driving kick. Marked by Stanley. The Demons haven't been able to set up any set shots at goal, but I'm not sure that it's the forward's fault. The ball has been coming in way too slow. You can't expect your forward to kick a winning total that way. Dangerfield, hurry kick. Intercepts the ball well. McDonald goes with the kick. It's a foot race to get this one. Well taken at ground level. Mark by Slensor. Uses it by foot. A mark by Rowan. 40 metres from home. A chance to put a second goal on the board. It's all academic from here. The result won't change, only the margin. The Demons have turned the ball over a lot trying to play aggressively. It's where they turn it over which doesn't make it as dangerous. Harms sends one up towards the wing, squeezes out a handball. Tomlinson looking a bit sluggish out there. Quick hands, and they could be away here. Taking a nice grab. Parfit handballs out into space. Hubert puts it out in front. Schlenso can work it back. Hurried kick. Hawkins missed an opportunity to mark. Giving it off was Dalhouse. He might kick a goal. Drop punt through the goal. They might need to put someone else on it. That's five goals. Good call, Hutto. Get some reward for his efforts. Centre bounce. Big thump from Gorn. Ablett picks up the loose ball. Slick with the hands. Linking by hand. Just gets it onto the boot. He gets above the crowd. Fogarty might kick a goal. Geelong behind by 24. Gorn to bring it back into play. Strong with the body and wins the mark. Jetta works it from the back half. He drives it. Kept alive under pressure. Kicks hurriedly. Fogarty spent it before he earned it. Rowan has a chance to put a second goal on the board. Geelong close the gap to 23. Unsure of their next move, plays on from the kick in. Takes possession. Hibbert coming off for a spell. There'll be a ball up close to goal. Anything standing out at the moment for you, Gaz? I'm waiting for something to change the way this game is going right now. Viney uses it by foot. Thank you, Oliver. Punched away. Oliver there to mop up. Oliver will be the recipient of the free. Now with a low spearing kick. It's marked by Lever. Puts boot to ball. Off the deck. Gathers it now. Tomlinson goes through the tackle. A chance for May. Jenkins will be upset with that. 
Hits the target by hand. Taylor dug out the loose ball. Keeps it moving. Henderson rushes with the kick. Marks in a bit of space. Uses it now. Hawkins marks uncontested. Moves the ball by foot. Releases by hand. Chose to kick it. They chase after the loose ball. Links with hands. Spargo grabbed it clean. Salem suckers it forward. Dangerfield kicks hurriedly. Henderson to bring it in. Plays on. Goes by foot. Tui with an easy mark. With the ball now. Hunt already has two goals. This for a third. Look at them celebrate that effort. Melbourne doing well at the moment. Back with another set of bounce. Gorn just swats it away. Jenkins just gets it out of the boot. Steady hands there as he holds that one. 45 metres out. This shot should be elementary from here. He likes his chances from here. It always looked close, but hits the post. Would have loved to nail that chance. Consolation goals, all they can hope for now. Gorn decides to go to himself. Gives it to Tomlinson at full stride. Receives the handball. Going for goal number one. No issues with that drop pass. His teammates rush over. Geelong reduce the margin. The game is back underway. Punches it clear. I suspect Geelong coach will want to have a few words back in the rooms after seeing his team go down like that. What stood out for you today, Gas? One team will walk out pretty happy today, Hutto, and the other team will be disappointed at their missed chances. At the final siren, the score, Melbourne 158, Geelong 135. That's all for today. On behalf of myself and Gary Lyon, thanks for joining us. We'll see you again soon. It's been a pleasure, Hutto, and we'll catch you next time.